Just over a year ago, I went on medical leave. I had a full hysterectomy for a multitude of medical reasons. And while I'm grateful I had the journey, in short, it was the hardest thing I have ever done in my life. And my recovery took much longer than I had hoped, largely due to the fact that I lacked resources for how to navigate that journey. The struggle to find acknowledgement that women need to be supported and our voices need to be heard it put a fire in my belly. And with support from my general manager, Jessica Hagen, Mom Matters was created. Mom Matters is a safe and non-judgmental space for women to lean in and be heard. And most importantly, for women to know while the journey can be long, whatever that journey is, they are never alone. I'm also excited to share that Mom Matters is launching in partnership with Shannon McGuire of Supreme Moms. Shannon, too, has a deep desire to support moms and is working uh, really hard to give moms a voice. She has actually personally funded a Gallup poll focused specifically on Idaho moms. And we'll be using the preliminary findings of this poll to fuel the conversation on Mom Matters. Shannon joins me now to share more. Shannon. I am so excited and so elated to offer this opportunity to moms. Why did you find it important yourself personally to give moms a voice? Oh my goodness, this started in 2020. So in 2020, beginning of the year, I had taken the time to say, I wanna help moms, founded Supreme Moms. Two weeks later, the pandemic hit. Ugh. And in that pandemic time, there was so much that we were responsible for, so much that came to be, and we got through it because of moms. And I sat back and thought, how are we? and how will we be moving forward? And so I thought, start with home, start with Idaho and start with our moms and let's talk to them, let's listen to them mm -hmm. and see and hear what's in their hearts. All right, and that Gallup poll comes out when? May 9th, okay. just in time for Mother's Day. Just in time for Mother's Day, could not be better timing. I'm so excited to share with everybody our first inaugural episode of Mom Matters. Check this out. Welcome to Mom Matters, created by Moms for Moms, a safe and non-judgmental space for moms' voices to be heard. I'm joined by Genevieve Nutting, creator of the Womanist Community, and mom of a bouncing baby boy, Krista Bell, life coach and former counselor and mother and grandmother. We also have Natalie Allen. She's the assistant news director at KTVB and mother of four, and Shannon McGuire, creator of Supreme Moms and Mother and Grandmother. And the first piece of information to come from this Gallup poll is... Moms are burnt out. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I know, right? I know. I love the visceral response right here. Shannon shakes her head. Taking a moment. We all laugh. We're like, well, yeah, yeah. duh. Okay, but ladies, what does being burnt out mean to you? Hmm. I say I'm tired a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. I'm tired. And the drain of the day. At the end of the day, just feeling like, I can't do one more thing. Oh, I have to wipe a butt. Okay, I'll get up. <laughs> one more time. Mm -hmm. Just deplete it. Yeah, I think I tend to feel tired and overstimulated, almost. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. Yes. I, like, stop the noises, stop the, turn the lights down low. I feel a little bit overstimulated. Yeah, like you can't shut off. Right. <laughs> Sometimes I find that when I get in that constant go mm -hmm. and I can't shut off and I just, mm -hmm. I, I do what I call bulldozing. I'll just bulldoze through everything. Uh, and I don't realize that I'm not giving cues to, to my family. Mm -hmm. And then they become, they get in the path of the bulldozer. <laughs> right? <laughs> Which isn't a good thing, right? Right. What about you, Genevieve? Yeah, I mean, I think you said it, and you said something like, watch out for mom, and I think there's this stereotype, like, moms are angry, moms are upset, and it's, you said it, mm -hmm. we're overstimulated, mm -hmm. we're touched out, we feel like we have nothing left to give, and, mm -hmm. and then you have to take care of yourself. <laughs> so you're, like, taking care of these little humans, <laughs> keeping them alive, and then what about, like, the core generator mm -hmm. of giving? Mm -hmm. So uh, for me, it's just, it's a constant check-in of, like, do I have space and time to see what my needs are mm -hmm. Bef before getting burnt out, which typically you get burnt out before checking with those needs. You, you said a word that is mm -hmm. so important and one that I have just become accustomed to this mm -hmm. year, which Krista, I know you and I have talked a number of times too about the importance of filling your cup, right? Mm -hmm. Checking in with yourself and making sure that you're creating space. And while moms, we have this 
litany of responsibility, both sometimes professionally, mm -hmm. but also at home, right? Because even though some women are stepping up to the plate greater this day and age, mm -hmm. professionally, our roles at home really aren't changing much, mm. if at all, right? So then all of a sudden we have this increased expectation here, along with this one here, and we're holding two massive things. Or, you know, you're, you, I mean, moms just have a lot. Mm -hmm. You need to make sure that you're creating space for yourself, mm -hmm. which is a really hard mm. thing right. to do. Yes. <laughs> to do it without feeling guilt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, mom yeah. guilt yeah. is so real, and that's a whole other topic we're going to talk about in the future. <laughs> which connects to the burnout, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it, absolutely. Right. Okay, so on that point of burnout, though, are you guys asking for help? Mm. <laughs> Shannon. <laughs> well, well, this one is this is a little personal. We were just having this discussion in my home last week. Okay. I do. I do. And sometimes I don't always know that I am because I learned to speak in metaphors as a child and the maypole asking mm. of like, yes. th that needs to be done and not being direct. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm <laughs> raising my hand. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But at same the thing. same time, I struggle because when I do ask for help and I don't get the help that I need, mm. it's that side of it that prevents me from asking for more help. My husband is a big source of my help. Aww. I will say, I mean, he cooks dinner, he <laughs> will wash the clothes I mean he is huge uh, I will say though we talk about work-life balance and what is that anyway right mm -hmm. um, you have to be very intentional about it but because I'm so busy you mentioned it I'm news director here um, I don't Mama have four. correct Mama <laughs> four everybody is in different sports yeah I don't have time to develop deep relationships with people that I trust mm -hmm. to take care of four kids and also mm -hmm. I know how hard it is to take care of four kids so do I ask for help probably not as often as I should. And I've been here for, I don't know, 14 years in Idaho, still haven't developed that mm -hmm. that deep relationship with someone that I would yeah. trust. So the extensive community outside of your nuclear family, mm -hmm. right? So you and your husband mm -hmm. got it, right? but your husband also probably needs some support. Exactly. And then you also need an outlet. Exactly. You need mom outlet. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Natalie needs to go play. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. Oh, I feel like it's confession time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I think for me, it's it's the being honest with myself that mm. I need help mm. and that I need to ask for it. And I need to be direct. I'm the same way that you are, Shannon. I'm like, if y'all could do this, then it would be great. Um, and then it doesn't get done and then I get frustrated. Mm -hmm. um, so the the honesty with myself, I need to stop, I need to slow down, mm -hmm. I need help, I need to ask directly and then to do that. And then when I get the results that I'm looking for, that releases the stress inside mm. of me. So I'm able to go ahead and be the mom and the wife and the coach that I know that I can be mm -hmm. and get a good night's sleep. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh -huh. I think another part of it too is the need to justify why you need help. And I think even just, I mean, step, taking a step back, our human core, we need help. Mm -hmm. And we have a challenging time even before becoming a mom. I had a hard time asking for help. And then you become a mom and it's like assumed that you know how to take on all these responsibilities and take care of yourself and contribute to society and be a good partner <laughs> and show up the best. And even this morning, I mean, my in-laws came here and met me to, to get my little boy and uh, they asked if I wanted them to take him the whole day. And originally I, I felt kind of guilty asking for that and I did, I did need it. I had a lot of stuff that I need for me and I felt the need to explain why yeah. I needed that help rather than just saying, yes, mm -hmm. I yeah. would love that help. Mm -hmm. So just this need to explain and to, to validate, like, no, you need help. How can we help you out? Mm -hmm. Like, how can we get a, a support system for yeah, you? Yeah, justification. I'm so grateful for what you have. Yeah. Yeah, justifying. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But you shouldn't have to. Which yeah. ties to the whole mom guilt thing. Yeah, like the guilt exactly. Why are we guilty for asking for help? And why are we guilty when we're not asking Mueller, for help? The isolation. So the guilt that I feel like I need to take it all on. Mm -hmm. The guilt yeah. of when I do get help of talking. And then that guilt burns out my emotional meter and mm -hmm. burns me out mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. So yes to all the things yeah mm -hmm. well and you know and you said because you know how much it is to take care of four kids so then right. asking someone else like i know how much it is to take care right. of a 19 month old and not <laughs> on someone else exactly like, oh. and i did work in preschool for a little bit between you know a tv station to the mm. tv station yeah. i worked wow. in preschool and i know what it's like to take care of somebody else's child yes. mm -hmm. i love them but <clears throat> it's not the same as mom love you know mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. That's tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. Ladies, I want to thank you all for being vulnerable and sharing your voice. Hopefully we've helped somebody today. Mm -hmm. I will say that our next episode is going to be a bit of a continuation of this conversation. We touched on it. Uh, next Wednesday, we're gonna talk about moms need a community. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Natalie, you so wonderfully set us up for that. <laughs> uh, so make sure that you tune in again next week for Mom Matters.